Welcome to Music and Mission. My name is Tom Booth, and we have a very special guest with us today. His name, Tony Melendez. Stay right there. Tony <laughs> Melendez. It's so great to have you be with us. Thank ah, you. What an honor, you know, just to, to be here with all of you, OCP, uh, all the people watching. Uh, it's a gift for me. <laughs> You're a gift. Um, <laughs> our friendship goes way back. We won't say how many years. And your ministry goes way back. This is your 35th year of public ministry. Yeah, yeah it's so. been exciting. It's been prayerful. It's been crazy. It's been just so many things that I never even dreamed of. Uh, God just took it and said, you're going to work, Tony. And I said, huh? <laughs> and there's times I still say, huh? <laughs> so your huh was your yes. <laughs> and that, less, that yes led you to 44 countries. We were, we were talking at lunch today, 44 countries. Yeah, it's, it's been amazing. You know, uh, you know I, I look at the map and I see all from uh, the US all the way to South America. And there's only one country I haven't been down there. And then uh, I go up into North America, and there's almost everywhere I've been there. It's been pretty amazing. And then go over to Europe, and uh, it's just been pretty exciting. And next year, Africa. <laughs> yeah, we're praying, you know, because of COVID, it got shut down, and, you know, we weren't able to do it third time. But I pray I could get there one day. I asked you and your brother, Jose, who's, Jose has been with you from the beginning, <laughs> and been your, your partner in ministry for so many years. 7,000 concerts since 1987. <laughs> That's what he, he, he's the number guy, so he's watching and counting and this and that and getting some of the stats on that. Uh, and it's hard to believe, you know. I lost count after about two days. <laughs> and 5,000 of those concerts were in Catholic schools or, or parishes. Yeah. Yeah. And it's been very exciting, you know, to, to be able to go to mm -hmm. a, the Catholic Church and minister and give my heart and mm -hmm. my music, uh, my words, and, you know, people listen. And uh, sometimes it's shocking when I'm a, with a group of, you know, say junior high kids, it's like, well, they're not going to listen to me. And they do. It's pretty amazing. Four times around the world. How does that sound? <laughs> In terms of miles, four times around the world. So Air, air miles. And <laughs> 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 Thank God. Um, so in 1987, you're in Los Angeles, and you get, to, you get asked to sing for somebody. Who was that? <laughs> At the time, Pope John Paul II. Yeah. Uh, when he was younger, Carol was his name, and I got to share and be a song, uh, sing a song to Pope John Paul II, from the youth of Los Angeles to him on a visit. It was uh, amazing. It changed my life. Uh, and I did not realize he would jump off the stage and come and kiss me. <laughs> Um, but next thing I know, he's at my feet, he's waving to me, can you come closer? I move the guitar, and we share a kiss that's seen around the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, a gift and an honor to be part of that moment. <laughs> that kiss, that embrace, that anointing, really, commissioning for Tony Melendez to, to bring hope and courage to the world, brought you to 11 Youth Days, World Youth Days. Right? 11 World Youth Days. How many kids? How many kids were you, have you sung for? <laughs> I don't know. Philippines, there were 6 million young people. Uh, uh, Poland, there was 3 million people. Brazil, there was 3, 4 million people. I mean, the, the numbers just keep going. I mean, it's, it's amazing when the Catholics get together. Uh, you know, one of them, I said, man, can you imagine this is like a Catholic slumber party and we're in, you know, Rio de Janeiro on the beach and everyone's on the shoreline. It's powerful, beautiful, amazing. Well, let's go to the beginning. You were born in Nicaragua? Yes. And <clears throat> you came out a little different. <laughs> a little different than what mom and dad expected. Born without the arms, and a lot of people don't know, left foot was clubbed. Mm. And the reason was a medicine by the name of thalidomide was given to my mom. And it denied me the growth of the arms, and the left foot was deformed. And so that deformity in the left foot brought your family to the United States by about your first birthday. Yes. For the operation. And yeah, we traveled by car from Central America all the way to LA, wow. UCLA. <laughs> wow. And so you grew up in this amazing family, <laughs> probably amazing and normal like anybody's <laughs> family, but a lot of music. Your dad played music. My dad, he's the reason why I played the guitar. He had a guitar. Uh, he was a musician. My mom sang. so. That's where the, 
the music came from, both of them. <laughs> and in high school, you started attending youth group? Yeah, I started, uh, you know, in high school, and then I started looking at his guitar, and uh, <laughs> even a little younger, but in high school is when uh, I found an open tuning, and that's where the guitar actually became music. Was it dad's guitar? It was dad's guitar. <laughs> And on the ground it went, and your, your feet My and your feet toes. all over his guitar. He didn't like it at first, but <laughs> it later became a, a beautiful gift. That good, good for him, dude. Heaven to sent. <laughs> and so after high school is when you had the encounter with Pope John Paul. Yeah, I was in my 20, I was 25. And, uh, you know, that was being a gift from the youth of Los Angeles was just true, a true honor. You know, it was a beautiful moment that changed my life. <laughs> And in, the, in turn, you're going out changing lives. Pope, the Pope says to you, you have courage and you give us hope. When you're singing for people, Tony, and you're ministering, what's going on inside of you yeah. as, you're, as you're looking out to people? You know, sometimes the normal thing, please don't mess up the words, you know, <laughs> you know just the normal or the chords. Uh, but then sometimes when you're so wrapped up and Christ all of a sudden grabs a hold of it, you it transforms into something that's uh, even more powerful and uh, you just go <laughs> and you say yes and I keep playing, I keep singing, but he's making the notes, he's sharing the words and you could sense it and feel it uh, in the church or the crowd or the people or maybe three or four people that are praying with you. Uh, you could feel it, his mm. presence. Mm. People come up to you and they say, how do you do it? <laughs> I always just say, you know, I can't just sit there. Uh, I know I'm missing the arms, but I've always had a desire to not just sit there. And that's what's helped me get through every situation. And having Christ behind me, in front of me, beside me, how can I go wrong? Mm -hmm. So you have this beautiful encounter with the Lord. <laughs> you have this amazing encounter with a saint, John Paul the Great. Now, later on, you had another life-changing <laughs> encounter. And I see something around your neck there, Tony. <laughs> you know, my beautiful wife, I love her so much. Her name's Lynn. Uh, a lot of people wonder, you know, what about the ring? I don't have the hand. Uh, she put it on a chain. It came around my neck. And I love that lady a whole bunch. I might not be able to hold her hand, but I love her a whole bunch. And guess what? We got to do a lot more kissing. <laughs> That's okay with me. <laughs> and her. <laughs> well, that is a special kiss, too. <laughs> and, you know, I know you well, and you have this intimate love, intimate love relationship with the Lord. And you share that with people so well. And you've written a song, Ana Me Criste. It's, yes. it's about intimacy. Yeah. Can you tell us about that song? You know, the Anima Christi is a prayer. Uh, it's been around for generations. And as the side of Christ was pierced mm -hmm. and water came flowing, that image just stays with me. And I put this prayer to music. And this is what came out. Defend me, and at the hour of my 
ever. Amen. Forever. Amen. So let's keep praying here. You know, we're going to ask our good Lord to always just kind of be with us and just love us so much. So in this time here that we're having this encounter, I had an encounter with a Pope. <laughs> and later on, that changed my whole life in a blessed way. What is your encounter? You're maybe at home. Maybe you're praying with someone. Maybe you're just by yourself. Or you're in the church, in a pew.